Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I am bringing you another week of Easter treats. And today is the second day of this second week. Now this week I am concentrating on punches and dies. And those are the main focus of my projects. So definitely check out all my videos. Um, this, like I said, if you like to make little treat baskets, it's my favorite kind of thing. So this time of year is perfect for it. So I definitely get into it. This is the um, really cool pierced bloom dies. I love them because they have all these little dotted outlines. They're perfect. And so we are going to be using this to make this cute chick sour cream container. And inside are... Hershey's Kisses, and these are wrapped for Easter. Aren't they adorable? So I'm gonna set those off to the side. We're gonna use those in a few minutes. I've used mini glue dots to close the sour cream container so that they can open and close it at their will. And I am gonna show you the pieces that we used out of this Pierce Bloom dies to make our sour cream container. We're gonna start with a five and a half inch by four inch piece of designer series paper. So we're gonna start with this, but I'm gonna show you the different pieces that I cut out of scraps of Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie so that you guys can see the pieces that were used. So there is that flower, I have two of those. I used one of this in the pumpkin pie. I used one of these and then of course the bow. So you need two of this flower, one label, one of this flower, one leaf, and one bow. Those are the accessories that you're gonna put on your duck. And let me move this out of the way and we can get started. Those Pierce Bloom dies are adorable. You can get them in my online store. So what we are gonna do here is we are gonna form a long, like cylinder, see, piece. What we need to do is we need to just turn a piece in here that we are going to adhere this together with. And you can use your score, simply scored, or you can just turn in a small piece of the designer series paper of your choice. As you can see, I'm using the Pansy Petals designer series paper. And we're gonna go ahead and attach some adhesive to this piece right here. Now we're gonna fold this section so that it meets up with it. And then once it has set, which it doesn't take too long. Let's just push our fingers up along there. We're gonna roll this like it's a roll. So we're gonna get this together just like that. All right, so there is our roll that's gonna be our little chick. Now we don't want this seam to be in the front where the face is gonna be. So I'm gonna move it off to the side, just like that, so it kind of lines up to the back. And at this bottom section here, we're gonna glue this closed. And when we glue it closed, we are gonna make sure that we have this punched piece tucked inside. So we are gonna find the little duck feet that we wanna use. Let's see, maybe this way. And we're gonna glue these to the inside of our roll, like so. And just make sure that they really grab. And then we're going to seal this section closed and then we will bend these for the feet okay so just make sure that they're tucked in there good that they're nice and glued down I'm just making sure before I seal it closed I'm gonna go ahead and put adhesive on this bottom section where the feet are not and I'm just running the adhesive from end to end and then I'm gonna go ahead 
and seal the bottom shut. I'm going to hold it for a minute. And then that is the bottom of our trick. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our label here and we're going to trim it with our paper snips. So I've cut it across just a little bit below this point. And I went about three dots down. So there's the point. And then we're going to count one, two, three dots. We're going to go down and straight across to three dots below that other point. And that should get us a straight piece. And then this is going to be his little belly. So we're going to go ahead and put adhesive on this middle section. I really should have my silicone mat out so I don't make a mess. But we'll go ahead and line that along the bottom edge. And we'll just push that there. I'm going to put my fingers on the inside so that this top section has something to grab onto. And you can see how my slit is not on the corners. It's just along this back edge. Okay, so there is the belly of our duck. Now, we're gonna form this top section. And by doing that, we're gonna form kind of a triangle. You see that? So we can go ahead and pinch this together and we wanna put some pressure along this, kind of creasing about a half inch down on each end. Now, I've used this bow and it is what forms this cute little hair that sticks up off of the chickie's head. So what I did was I twisted the bow so that it would lay behind itself like that. And then I pulled these pieces down one at a time. And then this section is what gets glued to the inside of the sour cream container in this crease right here. So we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive on either side, there and on this side. And then we're gonna slide the bow into this corner crease and we're gonna go ahead and pinch it closed so that it will grab and that gives the, the chick her hair. So we'll go ahead and squeeze that closed. Now, while that's drying and getting attached to the inside, I really wanna make sure that that sticks good. This little piece that is formed here is for the chick's face. So I have chosen to use a leaf for the beak. So what I do is I kind of find the center and I make a little crease kind of stacked like that. Can you see that in the camera? I'm gonna bring it up so that you can see. There, that gives me something to put my adhesive on. So what I'm gonna do is give it a nice crease on both ends. And that way it will have something to stick to. And we're gonna put some adhesive on this piece and glue it as the beak of, the, of our cute little duck duck or a chickadee, okay? We'll put that to the side. Let's go ahead and get two googly eyes. I have a little old container that I saved and I put these little googly eyes in there. And we're gonna go ahead and add two dots of adhesive so that we can stick two eyes on there. Oops, let's grab two of them. There's one and make sure that it stays. There we go. I'm gonna use, use the point to move it into place. There's one eye. And then let's grab another one. And this putty end is great to do, whoops. I'll close this. This putty end is great to do these little eyeballs with because it sticks to the top. And then you can put your finger in here and get it nice and firm behind it. And then you're just gonna move that eye into place. And while those are setting, we can go ahead and glue our beak. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive on that little stack we made right there. And then I'm gonna put my finger on the inside so I have something to press down with. 
So I'm going to put the beak on. And since my hand is on the inside, I can press. And I'm going to go ahead and open the beak a little bit. And then I'm going to use my bone folder. And I'm just going to slide it right here and give pressure against my finger that's on the inside. And that will help that piece to adhere. If there's any extra glue, you can move it with the point of your, take your pick tool here, or your nail. And you can slide that off, although it does dry clear, so it's really not a problem. And you want to stick that into your, into your, um little beak mouth there. All right, so there is the beak of our cute little chick. Now she needs her side wings, right? So I used two flowers, and those are the ones that I used to attach, and I put them on their sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn in a portion of this set of petals, probably about there is good. So I'm going to turn that down. I use my bone folder here. And then we'll do the other one. Same petals. I'm going to make sure I do the same ones. And we'll turn them down. Same spot. And by laying them on top of each other, it helps me to get them even. So I'll go ahead and push those down. Now one is going to get glued on one side of the chick, and one is going to get glued on the other side of the chick like this and that will form the wings. So let's go ahead and move this little chicky out of the way. We're gonna add adhesive. To this wing and we're gonna put it right here on the side. I am putting my finger in the box because like I said, it helps to have something to press against. And so I'm pushing with this finger and then I have one finger on the inside that's grabbing onto that adhesive and that will form the cute little wing on our ducky. Okay, make sure that this piece in the front sticks. All right, let's do the other one. Adhesive on the folded piece. And then you will stick these little wings, get them to kind of hold for a second. I'm gonna stick my finger on the inside so that I can grab onto that piece and put pressure on both sides. And once it's adhered really well, then you can fold your little wing back over. There are the wings on our little chick. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I think it's so precious. All right. Now last step is to fill our treats. So we're gonna put six Hershey Kisses in there and you just have to kind of move them around. They fit in there nicely and we are gonna seal our piece closed at the top with mini glue dots. The nice thing about that is that they do, um, open and close and you'll be able to get your treats inside out of the inside and then once the person has the recipient has eaten them all they can just seal it closed and then it will stay closed so there i'm going to put three or four of them let's see if i can get this one doesn't want to come off i may have to grab another one that one doesn't want to come off of my Take your pick tool. Let's try again. Threw that one away. You get so many of these on your roll. So that's nice. So we're going to put one right here. I'll just hold on to it. Make sure that this one sticks. There we go. That one's on there. Two more. I'm going to put one close to the bow section. There we go. That one's laying down. And one more. Here's the fourth one. And then I will tear this section off. That will go in the trash in a minute. And we'll put this one right here at the opening. Make sure it doesn't stick up and get it to stick there. Oh my goodness, this one doesn't want to come off either. I'm just gonna have to 
get it to work. All right, there we go. So now I have my mini glue dots in there and I'm gonna line up this edge so that it's even across. And there is our little chick. So cute. Give it a chance to really bond well. And then as you can see, you just pop these open and you can pull out your um, Hershey Kisses. There they are. Out of the top of your treat holder. When you're ready, just seal it back closed. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put this together. Definitely check out the Pierce Blooms dies, which were the main part of this cute treat holder. Um, I really enjoyed putting it together for you. I hope that you also enjoyed watching me do so. Um, definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at inkyhandswarmhearts.com where you get seven days of content. And I appreciate you um, taking the time to spend time with me. I always enjoy watching, having you watch me, and I'm very grateful, so thank you so much. Um, you can also share my videos. That would be awesome, and thank you again for watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!